Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is Border Gateway Protocol, shortly we call it as BGP. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Guys, BGP is also a routing protocol. That is nothing but router will follow this protocol in order to connect to different networks in the internet. So by using BGP protocol, different networks are connected to each other using internet. So big networks will talk to each other. As for example, let us say, I am using Active Fiber Net and my friend is using Geo. So both can communicate to each other by using BGP, that is Border Gateway Protocol. So big networks mean different internet service providers like Act, Airtel, Geo, they can communicate to each other. So BGP will tell routers which route to choose to send data between different networks. By using BGP, routers will choose best route in order to send data across the internet. Yes, as we know, internet is combination of smaller networks and as well as many larger networks. So by using BGP, device can connect to any network and can transfer data. So it will find best path in order to reach to destination. These are features of BGP. The first one is different organizations that is nothing but different companies and different internet service providers like Act 500 Geo, they can communicate each other. Even though if you are using different networks, they can communicate each other. Yes, BGP works based on routing tables. Yes, each and every router contains routing table. In that routing table, complete routing information is stored. So based on routing table, routers will transfer data to correct device. Yes, BGP is path vector protocol. That is nothing but BGP remembers the path taken. Yes, there are two types of border gateway protocols. One is external BGP and next one is internal BGP. Before explaining what is internal BGP and external BGP, at first you need to know what is autonomous systems. Group of routers on a single organization is called autonomous system. For example, let us say there is a software company. In the software company, there are so many routers. So all these routers are considered as autonomous systems. Yes, each and every autonomous system has unique member called ASA number. Yes, for example, this is autonomous system. Autonomous system contains various kinds of routers. For example, one software company is in Hyderabad, and next software company is in Bangalore. These two networks will communicate to each other by using autonomous system. This is an example of external BGP. Two different networks will communicate to each other by using autonomous systems. So external BGP is used in internet to connect to different companies or different internet service providers. For example, one company is using Airtel internet. And next company is using Geo Internet. Even though both belong to different networks, they can communicate to each other by using autonomous systems. There is not only single autonomous system, there can be many autonomous systems. So two networks will communicate to each other by using various autonomous systems. This is meaning of external BGP. And whereas in internal BGP, by using internal BGP, devices can communicate to each other within the organization. For example, let us say, this is software company. In this software company, there is an autonomous system. In this particular organization, all devices will communicate to each other through autonomous system. This is meaning of internal BGP. In internal BGP, communication happens within the organization. All devices and routers are connected to same autonomous system. Yes, BGP will divide our network into three categories. And the first one is subnetwork. Shortly, we call it as subnet. Dividing big network into smaller parts for easy management is known as subnetwork. For example, there is big network. This big network is divided into two parts. One is organization one, and next one is organization two. Each organization contains autonomous system, and these two organizations are connected to each other. This is an example of subnetwork. Dividing our big organization into two organizations. And second one is multi-connected network. Yes, network that is connected by using two or more routers is known as multi-connected network. So even if one router fails, still devices can communicate by using other router. And last one is transit network. As for example, there is one company. This company is connected to company router. And similarly, there is other company. Other company is also connected to company's router. Network which is in between this router and this router. We call this network as transit network. Whenever this company wants to transfer data to this company, at first this company will send data to this router. So from router 1, through various routers, that is nothing but through transit network, data will reach to this company router. This is start point and this is end point. 
and whatever the network in between the starting point and ending point we call this network as transit network so it is a network that is used to pass data between two routers